We draw our program to a close with a set of pieces from a colorful character based near Modena. The composer, poet, graphic artist, and theorbo player, Bellerofonte Castaldi, whose 1622 publication, Capriccia Due Stramenti, survives in only three extant copies, one of which resides at the Beinecke. Castaldi not only wrote the pieces in his book, he also wrote the lyrics for the several songs he included and engraved the entire volume himself, replete with a self-portrait writing music while holding a theorbo, in Italian, Tiorba or Chitarino, a long-necked uh, bass member of the lute family. The musicologist David Dolata has explained the significance of the two books Castaldi depicts on his writing table. The Bible, on top of which is a volume of Vanitas Vanitatum, religious text exhorting mortals to forego the vanity of fleeting human pleasures and passions and devote themselves to contemplation of the divine, as in the moral sonnet by Pope Urban VIII we performed earlier. But Castaldi, in his portrait has turned the Vanitas volume upside down, asserting his desire to enjoy the pleasures of a pastoral life filled with music, poetry, and art, which he expresses in the poem written upon the tablecloth in the self-portrait. Let others labor in medicine, which to me seems a foul and vulgar profession, or barter in the, in the common crowd, which causes wretched and wicked injustice or in common philosophy by the dozen, or theologize in the Hebrew language. I want none other than musical delight to write every hour with the theorbo at my breast. Castaldi included another depiction of a companion playing the theorbo with himself standing and playing an instrument of his own creation, a smaller version of the theorbo he called the Tiorbino. His book is the only source of music written for this unique instrument, which he features in duets with its father, the Theorbo, as Castaldi puts it, um, as in this canzona Detta Hermaphrodite, the Hermaphrodite, which will be performed by uh, Dani Zanutini Frank and myself. But first, two pieces for solo Theorbo, the Bocconcino di Fantasia, which means a mouthful of fantasy, and a Corrente, a lively dance in triple time, which Castaldi calls Cecchina, the nickname of the famous Florentine female singer, uh, the daughter of Giulio Caccini, Francesca Caccini. And so the piece was likely named for her. It's a nice connection. Written for solo theorbo, the melodies of the Bocconcino are so woven between the alto, tenor, and bass voices very convincingly that I was able to also write it out as a three-part canzona uh, which will be performed by the vial console. I haven't been able to determine why the duet for Theorbo and Tiorbino is called Hermaphrodite. All of Castaldi's duets have fanciful titles and the book is actually called Capricci or musical caprices. According to Ovid, Hermaphroditus, the beautiful son of Hermes and Aphrodite, in fact, his name, uh, hermaphrodite is just a combination of Hermes and Aphrodite. Uh, Hermaphroditus was so desired by the nymph Salmachis that as she wrapped her limbs about the youth, she prayed to the gods never to be separated from him. The wish was granted and they became one being, both male and female. Maybe the intertwining lines of the two instruments suggest the indivisible erotic union of the nymph and the youth. We end with one of Castaldi's dance songs, another spirited corrente expressing the earnest pleas of a desperate lover. Castaldi sets it for solo voice and instrumental bass with theorbo accompaniment. I made a four part arrangement using Castaldi's bass line and harmonies so that our final piece will be performed by the whole ensemble. 